everyone. If you're new here, I am Jessica C, aka Mommy Randoms, and I show you ways to keep your home spick and span without breaking your budget, your back, or the clock. So if you're interested in these, subscribe below and click that little bell notification as well and come clean with me, Jessica C. Let's get started. We all know cleaning can take a lot of your time, but did you know there's things around your house that you can actually use for multiple reasons instead of one? Take for instance, Dawn. You actually can use it several different ways to clean around your house other than washing your dishes. So before I go any further, what is your go-to cleaner? Now, I'm a big couponer and budgeholic, as you would call it. Like, I, I can't not use Dawn. It's the only thing that can get the grease off my dishes. And also today, now I'm going to be using it for my jewelry cleaner and grill cleaner. Well, everything cleaner. <laughs> and it's actually not expensive. This little bottle is a dollar, and it lasts my family of five that live here for a while. Well, depending on how many dishes we wash. But still, this is a dollar. And they also do have coupons in the paper, so even better. In the comments, leave me your go-to cleaner, and I might use some of those in future videos. All right, first one is jewelry cleaner. Believe it or not, Dawn can actually clean your jewelry, and it's very mild, so it doesn't really harm the jewelry. All you'll need for this is Dawn, some Mr. Clean, and some water. You can go up to about a quart. All right. Get your hot water, put one spray of Mr. Clean, and then just add a squirt of Dawn. Give it a good mix. I have an old toothbrush. You can use whatever you want. If you got a brand new toothbrush, just don't put it in your mouth afterwards. All you do is take the toothbrush, clean away. This is good because if you don't have that jewelry cleaner that you have to buy, this is stuff that's already in your home. Plus, you don't have to go to a jewelry shop and then be kind of coaxed and maybe buying something else. You don't even have to leave your home for this. So just do a scrub a little bit. Rinse with hot water. And let's see how it looks. Finished product. I say it actually looks really good. I am going to start using this. This was my first time. Look at that. It looks like it literally just got out of the jewelry cleaner at the jewelry store. Yep, that's definitely a keeper. All right, that worked really good. So I want to actually try it on something other than like diamonds. This is my mother's ring, so let's see kind of rub it around all right, I'm gonna go rinse all right it actually really does a very good job I had some scuff on it and now it's very clean This is definitely a keeper. All right, just put a little bit of Dawn on the microfiber cloth. Okay. On the other side, wipe it off. That actually is very clear. Hmm. I'm on the back porch, so you'll probably hear some cars. See the before? I told my husband not to clean it because I had this to do and I wanted to see if it worked. You put the grills in a trash bag, the grill plate. You want to take your Dawn, put some in there, 
and all around. And then you need a gallon of water. This is about half. All, right. all you do now is you close it up and make sure it's really tight. Also, the water, you want to make sure it's not too hot because you don't want it to melt the plastic garbage bag, obviously. And then create a hole. To do lukewarm water, I would. Alright. And leave it overnight. We'll see what it looks like tomorrow. Alright, it's the next day, so I'm going to check on my grill and see how it looks. Also set outside all day last night, and then it rained some as well. So it is dirty. You see that? Like the grease is just coming off of it. That's awesome. Look at that. Consensus is works, but not perfect. Although, my husband did grill on these um, twice before I told him like I was going to take over the cleaning. I wanted to test something. So I don't know if it's because it was, you know, twice before we cleaned it and it's not as much. I know this is not a grill brush. I spent a dollar at the Dollar Tree to get this so you could see maybe how much grease would come off of it. As you see, it really worked. After I pulled it out of the bag, you've seen the black grease in the bottom. And it is fairly clean from what it looked like yesterday. But it's not perfect. There's still some spots that's like caked on. So my consensus would be maybe try right after you <laughs> You've cooked on it, but overall, I would say maybe three out of five stars. <laughs> now, I'm going to tell you about a few more uses that I actually knew about before I'm making this video, but I didn't know if you did, so I want to include them as well. Ladies, or even men, have you ever went, box dyed your hair, well, even really went to a not so well known stylist and had them do your hair? If it's a little too far fetched for you when you get home and you kind of want to fix it a little bit. <laughs> You could actually fade hair dye with this. Just take Dawn by itself, take a little bit on your hand, kind of lather it up, wash your hair like you would shampoo, and then rinse. You do want to make sure you have some conditioner, even some deep condi conditioner, because Dawn can dry your hair out some. So, but as soon as you start rinsing or putting it in your hair, it start. you can actually start seeing it in the water below. Like it's going to fade it a little bit. It's not going to take all your color out, but it will fade it so it's not so in your face you know <laughs> um, just make sure you use that deep conditioner because it can dry your hair out another way to use Dawn if you put a few drops in about a gallon of water even as low as 16 ounces it can clean your baseboard your towel your countertops anything you can actually buy an empty spray bottle at like even the Dollar Tree or even Dollar General for a dollar just put your Dawn, just a few little drops in there, and then put the water in it, shake it, and it's good to go. I've actually used this, and it's very effective. Another thing you can do is carpet cleaner. Okay, for me, I have kids and dogs, and let me tell you, carpet cleaner is an essential. Sometimes those things can be very expensive, and if you're a mom on a budget, or well, anybody on a budget, you do not want to spend that much. So, get you some Dawn, 
put hydrogen peroxide and Dawn in one of those spray bottles I told you about. It's like a dollar at the dollar store. Mix it and spray it. Let it sit for a few hours, obviously, and then go back, scrub, and it works. It actually does really good. And last but not least, just for this video, because there's actually a lot of things you can do with Dawn, so I'll have to make a second video. But everybody knows Mary Kay. They have this satin handset. Oh my God. It's to die for. Let me tell you guys, I have loved it for years now. I'm only 36, but I've loved it ever since I tried it. Like I know 15 years ago. It is amazing. So all you do, instead of having to buy that, because I think the sets are like $35. Now, if you have discounts and stuff like that with your Mary Kay representative, that's great. You know, support local businesses. That's perfect. But if you're on a budget and you still love this stuff, Mix a little bit of the Dawn and some sugar. Rub it around in your hands. The sugar exfoliates your hands and gets all the dead skin off. And then Dawn actually kind of removes it all and gets the grease, the grime, the dead skins like actually off of your skin. Because sometimes you know they can stick to it. I actually tried this today. It actually worked. <laughs> Who doesn't have sugar and Dawn already in their cabinet? Come on. Like, it is legit, people. It is amazing you've got to try it all right this is the end of this video as i said there are a lot more dawn hacks i can do so if you'd like to see some more comment below and also remember give me your go-to cleaner because um i'm all about some cleaning <laughs> if you like this video give it a thumbs up and hopefully i'll see you again bye guys